Hello and welcome to the Illinois Association of Park Districts podcast. I'm Wayne Utterback, Director of Communications and Digital Content, and today I'm being joined by Justin Sinkowitz, Director of Marketing Communications for the Schomburg Park District, who also happens to be one of our four first place winners in the Give Us Your Best Shot photo contest last year. So uh, thank you so much, Justin, for uh, taking us some time out of your day to just have a quick talk with me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me on the podcast. I'm excited to be here and you know, talk about photography a little bit. All right. Now, before we get into your photography, can you just tell me a little bit more about your time, uh, what, what you do there at the Schaumburg Park District, just to give folks an idea? Uh, sure. So I'm currently the Director of Marketing and Communications uh, here at Schaumburg Park District. Um, so I oversee all of our, um, you know, any of our communications, marketing, uh, website, social media, photography, the program guide. Um, I have a team of three people. Um, I've been here um, since 2015. Um, my career in Parks and Rec started, you know, back at NWSRA, Northwest Special Rec. I, I started there in, pro in programming, um, but then made the switch to marketing. And then since then, I've, I've worked at there. Um, I worked at Wheeling Park District for a bit, and now I'm here. All right. Now, uh, now, as I mentioned before, you're one of our first place winners in last year's photo contest. And your your category that you won in was the sports category uh, for a photo that you had titled uh, Barracuda. Uh, can you just tell me a little bit about that photo? Uh, and we'll show a picture of it while you're discussing it. Oh, sure. So that was taken. We have a um, Bar Schomburg Barracudas are our swim club, swim team. Um, they compete um, throughout the year um, at different swim swim meets. Um, I had um, gone because it had been a few years since we took new pictures. Um, and when I got there, I realized like, wow, this is like a great opportunity for like some cool action shots. Um, you know, sometimes before I go out, I'll look up sort of what other people have done um, and try to like put my own twist on it. Um, that one was a little challenging just because um, pools are generally kind of dark. Um, it, you know, when, when you're doing a photo, um, one of the most important things is light. So um, pools are dark and um, getting an action shot in a pool was kind of difficult. So. Um, I kind of, I was laying on the ground for that one, like right next to the pool. Um, and I just kept taking that same shot till one of them kind of stuck. Um, there was a, a bunch of different frames of that photo. I think that one was the one I liked the best. Um, it was also kind of challenging too, because um, with the splashing, um, my camera equipment, I was a little concerned about it getting wet, but luckily we were all okay there. So now, uh, how did it feel when you found out that it had been selected for uh, first place? Um, great. Um, you know, I, I, that's what, you know, the, the photography contest that IEPD does every year is one of my favorite contests. I like seeing, you know, all the photos from across the state. Um, um, it was an honor really. Um, I, I'm glad everybody liked it. Now, uh, one of the things I like about the photo contest is uh, you always see some familiar names kind of pop up when the submissions start coming in. And I always get like super like excited when, when your name pops up because most of the photos I've seen of yours, they're all like absolutely award-winning pictures. So uh, can, you, <laughs> Thank you. Can, can you just tell me a little bit about what, what drives your passion for photography? Is this just like a hobby that you also have or, or how did, how did you like really get started uh, doing it? Yeah. So when I kind of realized it, I had always liked to take photos and I think photography is kind of an, an extension of marketing and communications and storytelling. Um, but, you know, I, I really like kind of like latched on to photography as a hobby, um, even in just my personal life. Um, so I dedicated a lot of time and effort to improve my skills after I, like, you know, I said, you know, as long as I'm going to do this, let's try to do well. So um, I read a lot of books. Um, I took online classes, um, watched a ton of YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but then most importantly, I just like took photos. I, I always tell people whenever I'm doing a photography seminar, just going out there and taking photos is what is really going to improve your skills. So practice, practice, practice. Now, uh I've seen the photos that you've submitted. They kind of cover and span a, a wide net of thing, all things parks and recreation. Uh, is there like a particular type of photo that you like taking the most? Something that you you get like the most like joy or thrill from taking? Um, 
Honestly, it kind of depends on the year. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's shifted. It shifted. Um, when I first started, honestly, I was more into like landscape photos. Um, and I, you know, I'm, in my free time, that's kind of what I do the most is go out looking for landscapes. Um, with with Parks and Rec, though, um, you know, one of the things I look for in photography is like expression. So, um, we we really have a lot of opportunity to like capture fantastic expressions as the people, you know, have fun and recreate at our programs, um, you know, they're out there enjoying themselves. So um, there's a endless possibilities. So I, I really like that. I think that is a little more challenging than landscape photography, um, but, you know, I've been lucky. I've had, you know, a lot of supervisors who have just let me kind of go out to programs and like hang out and like wait for opportunities to capture those, you know, really excited, fun expressions. Now, what advice would you have for somebody who is maybe wanting to up their photography games uh, in, in terms of capturing the essence of, uh, of what parks and recreation does? So what would you recommend to somebody who, who might be saying, like, I, I, I want to do better than, uh, you know, I want to capture some really good images? Sure. Um, I think immerse yourself in photography. Um, you, you know, we all have these cell phones in our pockets, which are just like fantastic cameras now. Like all, all the cell phones have great cameras. So take photos constantly. Um, there's a great books. Um, you know, there's YouTube, I mentioned before, you can watch YouTube videos for hours about, you know, different concepts of photography. And, it, and it's not that complicated. So once you get the basics, just going out and, and practicing and, you know, developing your eye um, it, you, you can't develop your eye without practicing. Um, so do that. Um, you, you know, another thing too is find out what interests you. Um, because if you're taking things that you are interested in, you'll, you'll have more fun with it really. And, um, I think that's one of the driving forces behind good photography is when you could tell that someone is interested in what they're taking pictures of. Oh, a hundred percent. Um, I, I know that, uh, we do have a couple of photographers who submit every year and you can tell they have like their niche. Like this is like the thing that they love the most. And, you know, it's always awesome to, to kind of get a glimpse through uh, their viewpoint of, sure. of some of the work they do. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, and you can tell that they've been working at it for a long time, especially some of like the wildlife photos that you see. It's like the patience it takes to, to snap some of those photos. It, people might not, re might not realize how long, you know, someone might be sitting somewhere waiting for just the right moment, but yeah. Uh, I definitely think patience and having an open mind to learn uh, definitely help uh, make those moments that much easier to come by. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, patience is key. Um, learning about, you know, uh, for me, one of the game changers for me was when I realized that lighting makes all the difference in the world. Like, you know, that first, the first couple hours of the morning and, and you know, the hours right before um, sunset, um, you know, they call, we call it the golden hour. Um, I, I think when you realize the lighting makes all the difference too, you'll, that'll up your game as well. Um, yeah. So. Now, uh, now I know you mentioned you know, our phones nowadays, they have great cameras on them. Um, but what would you say to somebody who, who's wanting to, to pick up, you know, a, a you know, a, a nice professional camera? Well, how would you recommend they, they dip their toe into that water? Cause I know that there, it could be overwhelming, probably all the options there are and, and you know, sure. what kind of lens do I get and, and things like that? Yep. So I always tell people, so, so photography is shifting a little bit. Um, it, you, you would hear the term mirrorless camera. Um, it's a new kind of, you know, camera in the past, you had the big DSLR cameras that are big and clunky. Um, and those are mostly what professionals would use. Now everything's shifting to mirrorless, which um, the cameras are lighter. Um, they're still, you know, make they make professional grade mirrorless cameras. Um, I would, um, you know, I think Sony is, you know, makes a good one. Um, I would just recommend going on to Google and like doing some research about like some good entry level um, mirrorless cameras. I think that's where it's going to keep going that way. From what from what I see, is mirrorless is is what is going to dominate the market now for. For the next few years um so um with that um pick up a good prime lens um 
I, I always recommend people have a prime lens, which is a lens that doesn't zoom in or out, but it takes those really good depth of field photos. Um, so get yourself one of those and get yourself a good zoom lens and then just practice. Um, and when you don't have those, um, still don't forget to use your cell phone. I mean, we sometimes now when we go to programs, some of the photos we use for marketing are just taken on our cell phones. It's convenient, it's easy. Um, you know, portrait mode on an iPhone is fantastic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look into mirrorless cameras and like, um, you, you don't need to go really expensive. Um, you really just need, even all the entry level cameras are like the same quality of the professional cameras that people were using 10 years ago. It just, it, camera technology gets better and better every year. I would also suggest um, if you're doing it for content, um, look into a good action camera um, or a 360 camera. That's kind of where I've been going lately is trying to capture more of the action um, 360 shots. Um, and the, some of those cameras are just awesome. Some of the stuff you can do. And most of those come with um, AI editing tools, which are also very, very good now. So, yeah, the world is changing very fast. I, I, I do know that. I mean, uh, as uh, as things continue to improve, uh, the the things that cameras can do, uh, I know, are just they're, they're changing every single day. And especially your mention of AI, that seems like it's becoming more and more a part of the common lexicon. I hear people talking yeah. about it all the time, whether it's you know, getting images created or do using it for uh, text generation. I mean, it just, it seems like uh, it's only going to continue to expand. So being in front of the curve on that's probably a, a good idea. Yep, exactly. <laughs> now, uh, now I have uh, one last question for you, Justin, and then I'll let you go. But uh, are there any particular locations in Schaumburg uh, that you find yourself coming back to uh, where you love taking photos, where you would recommend somebody go uh, to really like capture something special? Sure. Um, people love Spring Valley Nature Center. That's our um, nature center here in Schaumburg. And um, you could spend hours walking around there, um, looking at the wildlife, um, taking landscape photos, tons of great opportunity there. Um, so that's where I would recommend people start. Um, but, you know, Schaumburg, we have a ton of beautiful parks and, you know, so anywhere in Schaumburg, but um, Spring Valley Nature Center is where I would start. All right, excellent. Well, uh, once again, congratulations on, on the award. Uh, and thank you so much for submitting your photos to the photo contest. I hope you continue to do so. Uh, you know, as the years progress, because uh, like I said, every time we see your name on a submission, we get excited because we know it's going to be a, a really unique photo. But uh, uh, thank you again, Justin, for your time and uh, uh, keep sending those awesome images. Will do. Thanks, Wayne. Have a good day.